we're going to answer some uh, of your questions. A question that came up a few times now, and that's the descent. So we're planning currently. We're just approaching our descent point, and we're planning into runway one to left into Dubai, and we're going to have a look at a few scenarios. At the same time, I'll show you a couple of things and how to manage the descent if you're too high or too low. So as we come here, we are at flight level 380, a little bit high. At, uh, we are flying a Mac of 0.76. So the FMS says uh, we need to descend in about 4 miles. We're going to keep it a little bit up just to simulate that we were kept a little bit high. Now the interesting part of it, we're just about to get into the uh, white arrow. If we go to to uh, performance, and instead of cost index zero, we put 50 for example, that will change the speed obviously. But look what it does to the descent point. So the descent point went back now it's 17 miles look at that so it's already there now so of course the speed will play a big role the faster you descend or at a higher speed the uh, faster you're gonna catch up to the profile but we're gonna keep it at zero and we're gonna manage it on our own and uh, we'll do a few calculations to help us down uh, to regain the profile a good uh, rule of thumb as they say coming up from here 38,000 feet uh, is to take the altitude so 38 times um, 3 so that gives us 114 and then you add 15 for the deceleration of the aircraft as well so that gives us about 130 uh, a quick way to calculate if you see here the meters metric altitude so it's 11,500 if you take the first three digits it's 115 so that's 115 114 close enough uh, and then add the deceleration requirement there's a little bit of cheat sheet that uh, I've been using for a while now I'll share with you and uh, let's see how it goes so arrows gone we're high on our profile and the donut is below purple donut is below so let's start catching up so we're gonna go initially 250 let's say clear down to 250 and we're gonna pull thrust idle open descent I'm still at Mac so look at the aircraft here as the thrust comes back the speed in indicated airspeed will increase as the max stays constant as we descend so you'll see it diving a little bit and that's why we uh, we calculate five nautical miles for this deceleration the transition between the uh, Mach and speed or indicated airspeed so I'm gonna let it let it drift all the way up if I want to increase the rate of descent, we are 3600 feet per minute now. If I want to increase the rate of descent, I can just dial it up a little bit more and you see it's gonna nose dive. So the concept is always, if you wanna get down, you have to trade airspeed for that. But you're gonna be going faster, which then later on, you're, you're gonna have to reduce, of course. So you can descend with high speed and reduce the speed later on you will be lower than maintaining constant speed and then having the speed already decayed so see we have 4700 already still increasing we're at 275 now and increasing knots and the of course it's at idle thrust as we come back from the southeast into Dubai the donut is here we're below profile let it and I will switch 
this little button here so I go back speed back so this is the speed now set to 88 knots and you see it's reducing 4,000 feet per minute and reducing so we're below profile now I can start reducing the speed to what I want it or what's the planned speed so FMS reckons it wants it at 249 250 knots sounds good enough for me so we're gonna go to 50 dial it back speed is decaying we're still below profile so it's gonna come back and catch up I'm gonna stay at 250 when I reach there and welcome back so we're just leveling off here at 250 I'll start coming towards the profile again the profile is uh, caught up just about and it wants us to continue descent we will practice a scenario from here just for you to visualize how we can continue our descent and uh, regain the profile so now I'm on profile exactly let's take the situation and it does happen a lot Dubai says change of runways 30 left can you accept direct so 30 left in the secondary always when it's light and variable please do that so secondary 30 left 90 miles it's giving me 90 miles if I do the full if I want to go direct we're gonna go OMDB 30 left and that's 70 miles so I'm at 250 according to our calculation it's um, times 3 so that's 75 and then we're gonna add uh, about 10 miles to decelerate so that's 85 miles uh, second sec secondary says 90 and the progress page indicates 67 I think it's we might need some speed break but we can do it so let's say we accept first of all he drops us down to 10,000 we go open descent press title open descent 10,000 blue we know we're gonna have to expedite we ask for free speed he agrees so we're gonna increase the speed to lose the altitude let's start off with 300 in the meantime, I'm going to go secondary, activate secondary. Now we've got three zero left. We're in heading, which is normal, what we expect. Direct to all dot sounds good. And direct to all dot. So look at that. We're 4,300 feet per minute. Descending speed is still going there. Coming down like a rocket. It says we're gonna re-intercept, although we were very high. It looks like it's gonna work out. You'll see later on, we'll have to level off a little bit to, uh, to get that uh, speed back to, where, to, to, to start the approach. Progress, okay, looking at this, 52 miles, so 50 miles, and you're at 17. 17 times 3 that's uh, 51 plus 10 miles uh, 61 so it's looking better we're getting there nice and smoothly if the case comes where we are approaching 10,000 and ATC says maintain we're gonna lose the speed so we're gonna do that as an example in a second we're coming down past the transition yeah, this one. so one Pascal uh, 1013 is set cross-checked and we're below 14,000 already Fujera side, so over the mountains towards the plains and uh, to Dubai, just about 
on the set. Now, very good point here as well to mention this circle with the D. This is the deceleration point. So, see this where it says activate approach phase? We can activate it. If we activate it, it's gonna go, speed is gonna target green dot speed, which is the speed to start initiating flaps and gear and starting to configure. Speed out start. So we're gonna bring the speed back. the speed now normally around the world is 250 below 10 however if ATC clears you for more than 250 below 10 you are allowed to go uh, but not below below 5,000 right so see here with the king the speed alt the king the speed we're waiting for the descent yes normally Dubai keeps you a little bit high just to clear the mountains and then they can drop you a bit lower as you come closer so I can go even further with the speed see I'm using keeping that thrust at idle I don't need the thrust currently I need to get down this is my main target all right so let's say we get a descent 6000 6000 is blue thrust idle open descent and go back with the speed up and I'm gonna lose the altitude here to the game. Below 10,000, but it's wrong. All right, let's see our progress page. What does that say now? 33 miles. So we're nine, nine times three is 27. We're below 10 now. 250 knots so we need five miles to slow down uh, so that's 32 we've got 32 perfect we're back on profile the donut is high don't worry about it sometimes it plays funny in the sim but funnily enough it does the same in the aircraft sometimes it just gives you weird numbers so be careful always cross check always cross check and uh, just to prove the point here see the meters the first two digits now of course on the third uh, is 24 so it's close enough to 27 as we calculated earlier there we go I'm gonna leave it i'm not gonna activate the approach phase so we'll leave the approach phase out of it and uh, we'll uh, see it come up once we cross that that uh, D with the circle, which is the deceleration point of the aircraft. 1,000 above now, coming to 6,000. Let's keep going down. Platform 3,000, let's call it. And look, we're gonna be leveling off here. The, the arrow, the blue arrow shows us where we're gonna level off. And the white arrow shows us where we're gonna have to continue descent. Now, as we come closer to the deceleration point, if we are in managed, which we're not, we're in selected speed now, if we are in managed, it's gonna take it back to the green dot. So I'm gonna leave it selected. And I'm gonna wait until we level off, and then I'm gonna manage it. And you'll see the approach phase is gonna be activated, and the aircraft will automatically decelerate to green dot where we can configure and come to land. A couple of miles to go. There we go, it's gone, activated. Approach is activated right on the top there. So now it's approach. FMS is in the approach mode. Got it all in there left my colleague if he existed today would uh, set up just to make sure 3000 is correct it's all right. and I'm keeping 250 knots you see the line here is coming back and the reason is 
it's calculating at green dot at 185 knots it's calculating that you're going to slow down and you're going to hit here but we're not going to do that 1000 to go what we're going to do is we're going to keep 250 so we come really steep and then we're going to as it levels off i'm going to manage the speed see it keeps coming backwards away from all dot so close enough speed managed and this is how you work your descent.